How you doing? Jason Gould here from Emerald Necklace Martial Arts, and today is Friday, January 7th, and I'm just giving uh, a Tack Pit Warrior and Ultimate Black Belt Test update today. It's the start of the year. We're a week into it, and um, I'm pleased to report that I've got uh, a couple good solid workouts in already this year, uh, but today is my no-intensity day. Uh, today is the day I'm going to kick off my Tack Pit Warrior training, uh, as I've promised to do. Uh, Scott Sonnen and Steve Barnes put together the TACFIT Warrior video challenge, and I participated in that challenge. Uh, and as a result of my participation in the challenge, I actually uh, was uh, awarded the entire TACFIT Warrior package for free. And I've been digging through those materials. And what I've done with uh, the refund of my money that I spent on the program is I've invested in a new watch here that has uh, an interval timer so I can do my Tabata training a little bit more seriously. But I want to show you that I, I am very serious about the TACFIT Warrior program, and I'm very serious about making uh, 2011 a year to remember. So I've been digging into the TACFIT Warrior package and unpacking it, and there's a bunch of stuff in here. Uh, here I have the Master Your Fear transcript that I'm reading through today from Stephen Barnes. Uh, I've already read through the nine success principles of Japan's greatest swordsman, Miyamoto Musashi. Okay, thank you for that. Uh, and here is my TACFIT binder that I'm really going to be tracking all my progress here. So if you can see here, today is day one, no intensity. So what I'm doing here today uh, is obviously I'm doing a lot of the strain prevention program so I can sort of regenerate some energy, but I'm also taking time to really work on my goals and focus in so that as I'm doing the TACFIT program, I can think about my goals and have a clear picture in my mind of what I want to accomplish throughout the year. So in my binder here, I've listed career, personal, and physical goals that are right alongside the exercises that I'll be doing uh, every day and every week. Uh, for my career goals, uh, straightforward, I really want to grow the size of the dojo here to the point where uh, it can sustain itself and provide uh, me with some income for the family. Uh, so the specific goal is to double the size of the dojo in the next six months. Now, that's really not a Herculean task, but it is an aggressive one. Uh, total, total dojo enrollment right now is around 50 students, uh, which means I've got to add about uh, eight new students every month between now and the end of June. Uh, it's a pretty high bar for us because we are a small school, uh, but we're going to go after it aggressively, and I've set some actionable steps to try and make that happen. Uh, personally, one of my goals is to overall increase the level of mindfulness that I bring uh, to my day-to-day -day life, uh, specifically doing a little bit more meditation and improving the quality of my relationships. So I'm looking to do a little bit more quality family time, a little bit more, a uh, better job of maintaining my relationships with my family, uh, and spending some time doing some meditation and relaxation uh, to kind of offset uh, the stressful life that I live um, with the full-time job and running the dojo and and being a dad and being a husband. I'm a real busy guy, but I really need to carve out some time to put everything in perspective and balance. I'm going to be doing that this year. Uh, physically, uh, I really want to improve my flexibility is my big goal for the year. I don't have a weight loss goal, but really improving my flexibility uh, and specifically to work on my flexibility for my kicks uh, and my stances is the, the general goal. Uh, to help me really accomplish that, uh, I've set a goal to participate in the Zen Bay Butukai International Tournament coming up in September of 2011. So I usually don't uh, compete with a lot of heart. Uh, I love competing, but winning is not or has really never been important to me. But this year, I really want to focus on performing well at the tournament uh, because I know that uh, if I can perform well at the tournament, that means... I've spent time working on my flexibility. I've spent time working on my kicks. I've spent time really working on my stances. And I'm hoping that the TACFIT Warrior program will really help me improve in all of those areas as well. Now, I'm not a small guy, but I'd really like to add a little bit of lean muscle mass as well. So I'm looking forward to diving into the workouts and making that happen. Uh, I did some uh, measuring today. Uh, today I am six foot one, 73 inches, and my weight today was 187.4 pounds. So my body mass index today is 24.8, which is in the 
healthy range, which is great. I think that uh, I have a little bit more muscle mass than the average people, so I'm a little high on the healthy range of the BMI, but I'm not too worried about my weight, but I will use that as sort of a guideline to see how I'm doing throughout the year. I also use my camera to snap a couple of those embarrassing uh, topless shots so I can see uh, before and after pics between now and the end of the year uh, in terms of how much progress I've made in terms of putting on some muscle and trimming down some of the fat. So I'll post those on my blog when I get them off the camera. Again, it's the seventh day of the new year, and I'm kicking things into gear. We'll see how it goes. Thanks.